Hi there, it's Nick here yet again. Just chilling out and having a, like a final cigarette before bed. Being quite a busy day for me, blah de blah de blah, and lots of other pleasantries that you're probably not interested in anyway, but I, I thought I'd just say them no matter what. Uh, I received um, an email here on YouTube from one particular guy who's presumably heard of um, the issues that happened a certain number of months ago in the relatively recent past when basically I did one video that um, had a go at Wicca as a result of my experiences in Wiccan Collins and my experiences in a certain well-organized, large, substantial festival that was very Wiccan orientated. The email quite simply said to me, you know, get over it. If they were true Wiccans, then they would have to obey their laws. Now, that's something called the um, No True Scotsman Logical Fallacy. Look it up on Wikipedia. Look up logical fallacies on Wikipedia especially no true Scotsman, and then you'll know why that particular statement is essentially flawed. I've replied in very good spirit to that person saying, yes, I have got over it. In fact, I've got over a hell of a lot as a result of me being involved in debate and argument and discussion here on YouTube. I guess my concern now is trying to think about um, the forces which happen in a person of religion, of any religion, which can make them act in a way which is unpleasant. I mean, the experiences I had with Wiccans of any degree or level of experience have been very varied, I admit. Uh, I personally have an issue with people of religion full stop now, not just people of any particular religion. Uh, but with the Wiccans who I was most heavily involved with. It was, um, by analogy, a bit like sharing a flat with Venom Fang X. Um, with bullying techniques and brainwashing techniques and cult techniques of a very extreme nature. That was just my experiences. So, that is what happened. So my, cons my real interest now, which has returned into a much more analytical interest, is in what forces actually makes a person of any religion become like that. Is it social forces, economic forces, is it bad upbringing? It is a theory of mine and it does seem to be corroborated in some cases that some individuals who've had issues with their parents when they were young uh, may take to regarding their deity or spirit guide of choice in the light of a parent and the Wiccan religion is because it has a male and a female mother and father deity is um, very appealing to some people who have had issues with their parents in the past. I mean, who hasn't had issues with their parents? I mean, I'm, I'm obviously talking about something of a more serious nature than just a disagreement at some point. Um, so, but that's, you know, that's digressing, that's moving away from the point. What is it that, that turns someone into an evangelist, for instance, in any religion, including paganism? What intense psychological forces drives them to be like that? What intense psychological forces drive someone to try and culturally indoctrinate someone into a religion with aggression? It can't be something healthy, can it? It can't be something that's balanced. It can't be something that's rational. It can't be something that's... Um, for the benefits, properly for the benefit of the person they're trying to culturally indoctrinate. It's basically a form of psychosis. It's, it's, a, it's a, an absence of reasoning. It's a, it's a mental disease 
that some individuals choose to have, or, or not, not necessarily choose to have, but just happen to have because they can't see their way out of it, or they can't think their way out of it. I'm now counting myself lucky because I've had the opportunity to discuss ideas here on YouTube and various web blogs and all the rest of it. So I've actually grown a hell of a lot within the past two years as a result of experiencing differing points of view. But this particular type of character that does religious indoctrination in an aggressive manner they can't be listened to they can't be trusted and they are dangerous and they're everywhere the problems and harm done within Christianity to other individuals that strive them to become pagans, for instance, will and do happen in various different forms within paganism against people who are getting themselves involved in paganism. I wasn't actually interested in the pagan religion when I was doing my um, young, youthful, exploratory bit. I was interested in magic because I had supernatural experiences and I wanted to learn to control them so I could try and find a solution to a disease which I had then and still have to a certain degree which was at that time incurable and those people chose me because I was weak they wanted to do their thing with me is there anyone with a brain in their head who thinks that's nice decent, appropriate? No. There is a lot of harm in religion, full stop. And the wonderful thing about religion, especially if you're a psychopath, is because there's always a way of using um, the, the confusing ideas or ideas within religion designed to confuse as a way of bullying or as a way of controlling people. And this is something which has to stop. So my more rational stance on the supernatural and the occult is to a certain degree designed to help fight that. Just my thoughts for today. And if you are watching this and you are in the pagan religion in Wicca. You have a burden of responsibility to help turn your religion and your culture into something which does not have the same unpleasantness that you may have experienced in other religions. And maybe encouraging something like humility could actually be a good thing. the humility to say I am probably not correct but this is where I'm coming from this is why I'm coming from this position and I'm looking forward to a more in-depth level of understanding with the passage of time good fortune and God bless one and all